quite the run right now. Four fight on beating streak, a lot of success lately. What uh, What do you think the key is to, to executing the way you are right now? Um, I've changed my uh, a lot of what I do in my fight camps, and I've changed my mentality um, and the way I look at things going forward. Uh, I don't look ahead. I look straight at what's in front of me, and then I conquered that. So it's like uh, having goals, and you're chopping goals down one at a time without looking forward past them. I, your age always has to be mentioned when you say, right, I mean, executing at such a high level. I mean, is it surprising to you or do you, do you feel like, hey, this is no big deal, I'm 41 or whatever? Oh my God, I am? <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel 41, 100%. Um, there are some days when I roll out of bed, I'm like, okay, today I'm 41. <laughs> but other days, I, I feel young. I feel in, in my early 30s, mid 30s, I don't feel my age. So when people ask me, I have to remember, oh my God, I am 41. It's hard to believe, but yeah. So when you talk about setting goals for yourself, I mean, do you do you have a timeline in mind? I mean, you say you're feeling good. You feel like, hey, I, I don't know, this could last forever. As far as the timeline goes, because I do get asked that question, I don't put a timeline on myself. Because as long as I start to feel good, as long as I'm able to execute the way I need to, as long as I'm able to perform the way I need to, then I'm gonna stay in the game. Nice. Talk about this matchup. Cat, obviously a very you know recognizable name, a star. I mean, when this was presented to you, what, what was the immediate reaction? I was like, all right, let's run for it. Because we had already, my husband and I, we had already went down the list of potentials. And there wasn't very many in the top 10. And obviously that was one of the things that I had asked for only because everybody in the Bantamweight division has one goal in mind and that's to fight for the, for the belt. So um, we inevitably we knew that she was the only one who would be available. She's ranked one above me and she's a good name. So um, she's a very resilient fighter and we're looking forward to it. She's had trouble getting some results lately. Was there any part of you that thought, hey, I've, I've got this win streak together. You know, maybe she doesn't deserve to fight me. No, no, not at all. Um, and, and it's important to not think that way just because I, I can't put myself above somebody else. Who am I to do that? I'm not above her. <laughs> I'm not above anybody, so it was never, it was never that, it was never my thought process. And last thing for me, I mean, so does this feel like a real opportunity for you to make a statement? Because, so you've got this nice win streak. It is a deep division with a lot of people that want to fight for the title, but I feel like a win over somebody, a name like Cat, mm -hmm. might really kind of wake people up to say, hey, you know, you're a legit contender. You know, who knows? I thought that same way towards Sarah. So right now, it's just me jumping through the hoops that they want me to do, and who's to say what they're going to do after this. UFC is first time ever in the state of Idaho and here in Boise. What are your impressions so far? I love it. I'm so glad you asked that question. <laughs> I have had so much. Well, I went on a long run and I just saw the memorial to the firefighters and the, um, the lake that runs through the city and just everybody walking their dogs. You know, I was happy dog. You know, oh, there's a dog, another dog. <laughs> um, and then the state capitol, which we haven't got a chance to see yet, but I'm going to plan after this to run over there and then go back to the, to the lake. But it's a beautiful area. It's beautiful. First time, obviously, you know, it, there's a difference between watching UFC on TV and watching a live in person. How much, you know, you guys are here to do a job, but what's it going to be like being in front of a crowd that's never seen you guys fight live before and what can fans expect specifically from you to see you live for the first time? I think that's going to be fun for them. And, and what's even more exciting is female fights. You, they don't, if they've never seen an MMA fight, and definitely never seen an MMA fight in person, then that's kind of exciting. So it's one of those things, and when you think about it, Cat and I, that fight is very important in the Bantamweight division right now. When you start to break things down, you're like, okay, yeah, this is an important fight. So if the fans know that, then they know that this is gonna be the bout. A lot on the line for both of you, 6,000 people, sold out crowd, first time event as we mentioned. A lot on the line, what is Saturday gonna be like for you and how do you see it playing out in your mind? So you know you say a lot on the line I don't put that kind of pressure on myself it's another female in the same octagon in a different location and that's all I think about that's it I'm sure you have some look going in the main event but you, you liking that I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't pick um, I usually do the girls <laughs> but I let I let my husband pick the guys Croatia or France I want Croatia just because they are the underdogs, and I know the underdog story. But um, that was a great game yesterday, right? It was. Woo, that was a great game. But yeah. I, it's too bad that I'm not going to get to watch it. I'll be traveling back home, 
but um, I have it set to DVR, so I'm good to go. You know more about soccer than the men's side of fight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Actually, soccer was my first love. Soccer, that was my first love and my, my favorite sport. I, was a, I used to be a soccer player, so I, I think it's exciting. World Cup's exciting. Oh, I agree. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you.